Datavisor is a company that leverages AI machine learning and big data technology to protect uh, large consumer-facing enterprises from a variety of fraud, abuse, and money laundering activities. So our customers include uh, those more uh, internet companies such as social commerce, gaming companies, as well as these more traditional sectors, for example, uh, banks, uh, fintech companies, and uh, insurance, telecom, etc. So the differentiating uh, technology of Data Advisor is um, unsupervised machine learning. And uh, unsupervised machine learning is a type of machine learning that does not require uh, labels or uh, training data in order to detect uh, new, like sort of unknown uh, type of fraud that is fast evolving. So compared with traditional approaches, uh, which are typically either like rule-based or supervised uh, base and um, our technology uh, will analyze the data and it does not uh, require this uh, historical like sort of uh, loss experience and um, so uh, if you look at these traditional solutions what they work is typically rely on for example this business domain knowledge and um, understanding for example how existing attacks or how existing fraud pattern looks like and then to develop for example either like a set of logics which we call rules to de deploy in place or uh, we leverage this traditional sense of supervised machine learning to develop uh, uh, models in order uh, to detect and the, um, the biggest like sort of limitations uh, of these solutions that it's rather reactive reactive um, in the sense that uh, uh, we have to understand attacks uh, that we are facing we have to see it before we were able to detect more such type of same type of attacks and um, uh, if we look at the, the attack landscape now uh, a lot of the attacks we face today actually are fast evolving and um, it's actually adversary scenario and these are attackers that would uh, uh, actively change their patterns in, in order to evade detection therefore uh, existing solutions were often unable uh, when the attack pattern unable to detect them when the attack pattern uh, shift uh, or evolved. So the promise of unsupervised machine learning is then uh, to be able to more intelligently uh, automatically discover these like new and evolving attack patterns so that we are more proactive and truly be able to prevent a lot of large-scale attacks before they happen. So if you look at the fraud patterns today, like the involvement, we definitely see several trends. The first is that uh, the fraud is becoming a lot more larger scale than in the past in this digital online world mm -hmm. and uh, compared to in the past, a lot of fraud needs to be, for example, offline, committed in person, and uh, uh, fraudsters, or criminals, don't have to do it anymore. They can online with stolen credentials or create fake accounts in order to commit uh, attacks, commit these fraud attacks at much larger scale because they were able to pretend to be many, many legitimate users uh, from distributed uh, locations. So you definitely see uh, like uh, this strong, like sort of financial incentives behind those attackers so they're not like lonely kind of uh, outliers uh, they actually are professional like sort of a uh, frosters and um, a second that you see is that the frosters are becoming more sophisticated they know there is uh, going to be defense mechanism in place so they're not going to be just uh, like sort of repeating their traditional approaches and then waiting to be caught so they constantly are like sort of accessing the newest technology as we do and and, uh, mimic legitimate user behavior and um, trying to basically evade attacks and the test they, there's a lot of test uh, strategies putting in place and uh, for example one of the approaches we talk about often leveraged by attackers is to incubate so we often know like sort of uh, these attackers often create a lot of uh, accounts like with fake identities or what we call like fake accounts this is very typical or having like sort of a, a credit card applications with this synthetic identities etc and in this case that uh, uh, they know like with new users typically the policy can be made more strict because before a user established reputation therefore attackers would often uh, try to uh, conduct some legitimate seemingly legitimate activity before they actually launch attacks. 
So um, with data visor, when we talk about like detecting attacks, we talk about like unsupervised approach of detecting it. That A aims at detecting these fraud rings uh, together, so that uh, uh, even though attacks are large scale, we detect all of them at once. We don't. We are not detecting attacks one by one, but like looking at these patterns, we were hoping to uncover them all together. And the second is that we were always hoping that no matter how they change, as the fact that we can detect these subtle uh, similarity of activities among these fraudulent accounts, we were able to uh, push back the detection to very, very early stage, for example, at the account creation time. And um, so uh, at the account creation time, there's very little information. However, uh, since the attackers with common like sort of goal, there are often uh, these subtleties that uh, uh, when we apply this AI machine learning technology, we, we can be able to identify uh, these uh, like sort of correlations and be able to identify them, therefore preventing the downstream damages uh, despite that they could incubate and they could uh, conduct like commit a lot of uh, diversified fraud activity down the stream if we were able to stop them uh, at the earliest opportunity, let's say at the account creation time, at the logging time, or at the incubation time, um, therefore serve the purpose of uh, preventing fraud. For, for our next like three to five years of growth of DataVisor, um, we definitely are very excited expanding uh, our technology across like uh, different areas. For, for one dimension, we'd like to expand our technology across different industries. And um, so uh, our technology can be widely applicable to uh, different uh, use cases of protecting uh, the life cycle of the accounts against a variety of different uh, uh, kind of fraudulent or abusive activities and for that uh, we definitely uh, feel for example uh, the first uh, industry we targeted are those like social commerce like mm -hmm. gaming that internet companies they have a lot of users are uh, growing very fast so that's where our technology is widely applicable and the second industry now that uh, we actually also have gained a lot of success is the financial sector where we see like sort of banks uh, are moving to be in increasing in a digital ties and um, uh, also like fintech areas uh, where uh, uh, they actually uh, uh, they're gaining a lot of traction and uh, user population is also growing very fast that's an area where there's a lot of frosters as well and uh, furthermore uh, there are also like more traditional those industries for example insurance sector mm -hmm. and uh, it's a sector we also see fraudulent claims and um, so uh, then the more like for example down the stream like uh, telecom we also see that uh, some of us like will receive these phishing scam uh, text messages and the phone calls that's where uh, data visors technology can be applicable as well and um, for example healthcare etc so expanding across industry uh, will be exciting to make the technology widely accessible to more and more use cases and protecting more scenarios and protecting uh, every one of us consumers and the second area of expansion that we are uh, also very excited about is to expand the data visor across different geographic locations and we started out uh, was incorporated uh, in Mountain View, California, and so gained a lot of success with the U.S. market. And in 2016, we entered the China market, and we also established office in Singapore region. So gained a lot of rapid success uh, in the uh, like Asia Pacific region. And um, so we are now like looking very excited to expand that further to the European region. And um, it's a very big market as well. We've already have some. Some uh, customers who ha actually have shown like successful like sort of uh, production use of data visor technology, and um, uh, it's also a center of all these like sort of uh, the financial industry center as well. So that's definitely definitely uh, a region where we want to establish like a strong presence and bring our technology to a broader set of uh, customers in this region. So within five years, it's about the geography and about the product usage in different industries. 
Yes, and uh, longer term, further down the road, we also expect uh, so this uh, uh, technology of unsupervised machine learning can be broadly used even for example uh, cross like sort of outside fraud uh, detection domain and in a variety of different use cases for example uh, in the sense of more like security related areas or uh, into those areas with uh, broader uh, like a need of uh, anomaly detection mm -hmm. and um, in the manufacturing area in the IOT sector these are all the uh, broader sense of industry where we expect uh, unsupervised machine learning technology uh, where data visor develops can be potentially ap applied to.